What's up, y'all? This is Corvus back at it again with yet another low effort try weekly uh, video. We're going, uh, we're going to be starting another playthrough today of Soul Calibur 6, specifically Soul Calibur 6's story. Uh, last time we left off on. We, we actually finished Raphael's story. So, um, I haven't quite necessarily decided on the character yet. I was thinking Matsy we would do. I like Matsy. Problem with Matsy's story, though, is it might be a long one. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember how long it is. It, uh, where is he? Oh, fuck. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a bigger problem here. Okay, okay, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Xinhua. We can do Xinhua. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Hmm. Let's see here. Honestly, I might just do one of these one shot ones and just do a couple of them for my next couple of videos just because uh, it's. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I'm working on another long form video, I guess, something along the lines of my uh, Ruby video, but that requires a bit more research and just a bit more, you know, experience with the content. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I will do. But, we're actually going to have combat in this. I don't want to bore you all too much. The whole, you know, two or three of you that are going to see this and actually try to sit through it. Um, I'm going to butcher this, but what is it? Song Mina? Takes place in 54 1584 AD. 1584 AD. The girl from the Song Do I am so bad with, with yeah. Um, I'm Song Mina. I grew up in the okay, Song so Dojang run by my father. Three years ago, I went on a quest for Soul Edge, known as the Sword of Salvation, to protect my land. My quest went pretty well for a time, but then Huang brought me home. I guess it was wrong of me to run off without telling my father and all. He said I must redo all my training, and forced me back into the rigid life I tried to escape. But the truth is, that was the least of my problems. Lady Mina! Would you please marry me? You again? Did my father tell you to do this? Stop! I'd be a far better husband than you! If both of you can beat me, I'll think about it. How does that sound? What? Then count us in too! You joke. Yeah, and us too! Fine. Just come at me all I don't think I've ever actually done her story, so this is completely new territory for me. I don't think I've ever done her chapter.
Uh, interesting. Fight! I have used some before. She was actually the play style for a credit character I had. Couple years back. So I have some experience with her, not near as much as Raphael and Amy, but. Enough that kind of a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. If this is what I would, this is the dumbest excuse to have to fight, like ever. Like I know fighting is notorious for making up dumb shit in order for a fight to happen. But this, this is fucking stupid. Maybe a little problem with it too, but you know what? I'm not gonna get into that either. No wonder hardly anyone showed up today. I was worried that we lost all our students. That day, I was surprised to see Huang home for the first time in a long while. Oh, Huang's my father's best student, and kind of like a mix between my mentor and my big brother. He was called a hero, and the country entrusted him with finding Soul Edge, the Sword of Salvation. My father also wanted me to marry him. Really, though, I can't believe you're already old enough to think about marriage. I'm not! Those guys were just joking because Father keeps talking about wanting a son-in-law to take over the Dojang. Oh, oh really? So fucking stupid. I've never heard him talk about that. Huh? Yeah, I mean, I told him not... Mm. So this is where you've been, Huang. Don't you think it's about time? Yes, Master. I'm sorry I can't stay longer. Mina, I'm sorry I can't tell you more, but I'm returning to the army. We can protect our homeland with our own hands, even without the Sword of Salvation. And that was that. Wong re-entered the military and now continues to fight for his country. Me, on the other hand, they wouldn't allow me to join the army because I'm a woman. But then what am I supposed to do? I, too, want to protect our homeland. When you said we, Huang, did that include me, too? Mina, that's not up to me. Do you understand what I mean? So I can't protect our land with you because I'm a woman or because I'm not strong enough? Just hurry up and see him off, silly girl! <sighs> that was... I guess. Wait, what? Oh, there's a second chapter. 
Did I misunderstand? <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. Alright, okay. It has stayed switched the same year. Fretful memories. Yeah, can you tell it's been a while since I've done an actual, you know, storyline, quest line that uh, I hadn't done before? Um, yeah. Oh, and it's in the first person. Interesting. It was the last time I would ever see Huang. All I wanted was for us to protect the homeland together. But it felt like no one took me seriously. After that, I found it hard to concentrate on my training. Looking back, I was really clueless back then. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. Slowing me up. Oh, Mina, I was looking all over for you. Did you come to humiliate me too? What are you talking about? I'm weak and clumsy, so I respect how strong and bright you always are, Mina. Then you must be really disappointed in me now. Uh, no, of course not. Uh, uh, hey, I know. How about marrying me? Wait, what? Come on, dog. Are you for real? I'll make Wong and Father admit I'm just as capable as them, no matter what it takes. I hope that includes beating his ass, because oh my god. Now that I think about it, Chol Wan was probably just trying to cheer me up. Next time I see him, I must be nicer. If there ever is a next time. Dog, are you serious? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. See, this is what I mean when I say, like, it may actually be that Raphael and Amy are the exceptions to the rule when it comes to, like, good quality storytelling and like plot lines or characterization in Soul Calibur cause what the fuck was that oh that was so bad oh that was so bad um I guess let's keep it going um this is 1585 takes place a year later Seeking the Sword of Salvation. It's in. I mean, I guess that's why everyone goes for Soul Edge. But wouldn't it really be Soul Calibur that's the Sword of Salvation? Like. Soul Edge is known as the Cursed Sword for a fucking reason. I, I just. I think. Eh. I mean, then. Eh. And. Let's get right into it, I guess. Seeking the Sword of Salvation. And so I left home again. I just couldn't think of a way to get my father and Juan to recognize my ability. In the end, I thought if I could get my hands on Soul Edge at last, the Sword of Salvation itself, then I'd be able to make them see what I was capable of. It was my second journey, second journey, to the castle in the west. So I knew the route well and arrived in time. Second journey. When the fuck was the first? You know what? Whatever. Let's 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 just do this. At that moment, I was just so shaken I couldn't think straight. Ivy, that swordswoman who was also searching for Soul Edge. She was cool, collected, and so mature. She treated me like a child, so I lost my temper and challenged her. Well, like a child, so valid. No! I'm not done yet! More fighting will only end in the same result. You're too weak. Farewell. Well, that was riveting. Thanks for the entertainment. Ugh. 
But that should teach you not to pick fights with people like that again. I'm sure you'll get a lot stronger in the future. You're still young, after all. Hey! Don't treat me like a child! Bitch, are you serious? <sighs> These bitches just don't learn. I don't know. See, look, what, 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 what's going on here? Excuse me? Did I start? Did I start with a quarter of my health gone? The fuck? What was that about? Didn't I just tell you to think more carefully about who you pick a fight with? You also said I could get stronger. Can you teach me how to fight? We can use clubs or whatever. I don't care. Bitch, what? That was the first time I met Kong Shu Chung, my master. I needed to get stronger if I wanted to find Soul Edge. So I focused all my energies on forcing him to become my teacher. Yeah, you see this shit, Atzel? Fucking ridiculous. Alright, y'all. That, that's about as much as I can take out of that for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed, or, you know, were at least a little amused by whatever the fuck that was. Um, yeah. I've been Corvus, you've been whoever the hell you are, and eh, thanks for coming. I'll catch you later. <laughs>